hi aries welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for aries sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to mm, <laughs> please remember to flip and switch the roles guys i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay so let's see what's going on with you guys aries okay spirit guides angels sun moon rising venus north node for aries what is going on for aries messages for aries please and thank you okay bottom of the deck we have number 30 flame tree the start of something new okay period some of you guys could be the age 30 okay so let's see the start of something new so there there's something blooming in your life that's new aries let's see sounds exciting to me so it says a creative spark has ignited from deep within your soul and this will soon develop into a passionate flame through which a new idea will come to you. This card herald, heralds the start of something new. This could be a new era of study, a new business, or a new interest of some kind. Whatever it is, it will develop progressively and steadily and it just keeps on growing. It will develop into a deep passion and remain a significant part of your life for years to come. Wow. You will thank your lucky stars for discovering something that you truly love to be and do for the for the time being, all you need to do is relax. Simply keep an eye open. Simply keep an open mind <laughs> and heart over the next few weeks and pay attention to your intuition. Your affirmation is a creative flame glows within my heart and illuminates my mind. I am ready to start something new. My heart and mind are open to new possibilities. My dream becomes my reality. I do what I love and I love what I do. Okay, period. So like I said, it could be a new job, a new relationship, a new creative project i don't know it could be anything aries so let's see clarify this energy for aries spirit what is going on for aries what is new <laughs> what is new so this is something that you're going to really love you're going to feel passionate about it this is something that's gonna, probably going <clears> to <throat> inspire others as well okay you could be dealing with another fire sign i'm hearing something about a peach tree okay but let's see for Aries. Clarify this energy here for Aries spirits. What is going on? <clears throat> so bottom of the deck, we have King of Wands. Okay, look. <laughs> this, yeah, Ace of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay, Aries. <laughs> you are fired up. You're ready to go. This could be somebody coming towards you or this is you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your energy. This could be a masculine energy coming towards you. This is this is a leader. Somebody's a leader, very assertive. Okay, this could be a Sagittarius for some of you. But somebody has got their power back or something like that. Or somebody feels like they're ready to go and do something with you, Aries. Or this is you. You could be working on a creative project here. Or you're just, I don't know, you're just in a good energy to start something uh, that's creative. Maybe, um... Somebody's very nice looking too. You could be dealing with somebody that's, very, that's foreign. Somebody could have uh, light brown eyes and long curly hair or just curly hair or something. But, okay. Could be dealing with the Scorpio too, with the sign here that I see. But let's see. What else for Aries? What's going on? Okay, see, <laughs> somebody's sun sign could be in Scorpio. So this is somebody from your past here, or you're thinking about somebody from your past. This could be somebody that you grew up with, or it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that you have past lives with. I feel like this person is very attracted to you. And I feel like they're going to assert themselves or, or, or make themselves stand out in a way to you. So that way you guys can what reconcile. <laughs> this is somebody that's very nostalgic, or this is you. <clears throat> you're thinking about somebody here. I feel like somebody makes you feel like a kid again. They're very adventurous or spontaneous. Okay, what else for Aries? Okay, King of, King of Pentacles. <laughs> so some of y'all might got a choice between two, or this could be the same person. Date, sexy, and a stable. Yes, I love to see it. <laughs> okay, but the King of Pentacles could be... um.
could be somebody that's like i said is grounded they're stable they're secure in their finances okay so some of you guys could be implementing something that's going to put you in this king of pentacles energy something that's going to be stable secure the king of pentacles is somebody that's very loyal as well when the king of wands steps up and when they're mature they are also loyal so okay we're gonna see who these people are what else for okay palace of coins yes right under the king of wands so this is somebody that's trying to bring stability to you somebody wants something stable the king of pentacles is usually somebody that likes long term you could be dealing with an aquarius or a pisces here but i have taurus virgo capricorn this is what this card is So yeah, I feel like somebody, this person wants to build something with you. They want to build this life with you. This person can be very wise, very smart. Okay, I, I like this energy. Some of you guys are going to be moving in with this person. But there's stability in this home. You're going to feel secure with them or safe or you do feel like home to this person or they feel like home to you. Yeah, what else for Aries? Some of you guys are building a legacy. You have Palace of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. What else? So this is going to be something filled with a lot of um, trust, st stability. A lot of... Um, wow two of cups somebody could have venus and cancer this is beautiful i don't oh my gosh taurus energy at the bottom of the deck with faith this is the hierophant so this is something i feel like that you pray for aries this is something that you've been manifesting or they've been manifesting your ass i feel like you really stood ten toes down with this whatever this is you've definitely um somebody here could be very spiritual or very religious or whatever but um you know this is like a commitment coming with the Hierophant. This is a long-term commitment, child. What is this? Uh, What's this? Somebody's in love with you. What's this King of uh, Wands for Aries? What's the King of Wands? Okay, what's this? You can have a moon in Cancer. Somebody's can a moon could be in Cancer. So uh, four cups in reverse. So, yeah, the ending of stagnation. Somebody's getting up and moving, Aries, or this is you. Something that could have been holding you back emotionally. Like, maybe somebody was closed off emotionally or unavailable. Okay, Four of Cups in Reverse talks about um, seizing an opportunity when it's in reverse. Because it's like somebody could have been stuck in some type of illusion. Like, they thought that something was just going to be or without any movement. Like, no, you have to make... You have to... When you manifest, you have to be on the move to get whatever this is. Yeah, the will. Something is shifting. Palace of Cups. Wow. The world. So, okay. Okay, you can see. Don't make too much noise because the minute you start making noise, you're going to have to go in your own room. Okay. I'm just saying because I don't, I don't, mom, you know, mommy doesn't like to be disturbed while I'm trying to do my readings. What is this King of Wands with this Four of Cups in reverse? Okay, the Chariot, yeah. There, there's somebody coming towards you. It could be a strong Cancer placement. But somebody is pushing through these obstacles. Yeah, some, something ended. Somebody's sun sign could be in Gemini. Okay. But yeah, there, there was a betrayal or backstabbing of some sort. But something is over in somebody's life. And they ask, they come to get you. <laughs> They are coming to get you with the cherry. There was some type of obstacle here, I feel like. Or somebody just was, um, they didn't have any direction in their life. Or they needed to grow up and mature. I don't know. But this person is coming to get you. What's this king of pentacles right here for Aries? Okay, seven of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to invest in you the emperor. Yeah, this is your masculine. This is both, these people are your masculine. For some of you, you have a um a choice between two but i feel like this person really wants to invest in you here i feel like you've been really patient and loyal and very um so this is not a group of aries i'm talking to that kind of like don't want this person there's mutual love here between you and somebody else this person is really getting their stability together
yeah somebody's um saturn can be in taurus as well but the seven of pentacles is an investment your hard work paying off your loyalty your dedication to something okay yeah but the emperor some of you this is just about a business here what is it what else for the king of pentacles with the seven of pentacles <laughs> wow the king of cups for a lot of you, I just feel like this is one person. This person is like, they are really, I don't know where they're getting all this carriage from, but this person is really, um, <laughs> yeah, the lovers. For some of you, these are options, child, but there's somebody here that's in love with you. With the two of cups, it could be a lot of people, but I feel like this is all one person forming into, this is like, this person coming into like their emperor status they're balancing themselves out they have a balance of fire energy with the emotional you know being vulnerable and then they have their stability together i feel like that's what's happening here or this is you what's this palace of coins yes bro <laughs> the ten of pentacles what so Y'all ass, you about to build a family with somebody. Somebody's Mercury could be in Virgo. Okay, there's like money in the house with the palace of coins and that y'all finna be rich, whoever you and this person is, I don't know. When y'all combine your ideas together and shit like that, y'all finna be rich. <laughs> yeah, communication coming in that's gonna surprise you. Yeah, page of wands, page of cups. I feel like somebody really wants to talk to you. They could be wanting to apologize for something, but I feel like this person just wants to balance things out. Six of Pentacles. They want to bring balance to this connection. What is this palace of swords? This person also feels like they need to be honest with you about something. They want to lead with, in, with in, uh, integrity. They want to build a foundation off of um, truth and clarity. What's this palace of swords? Or maybe that's what's needed, into this, uh, needed in the situation here. More stability in the truth. All right. But what's this palace of swords right here? Child, what is this? I'm so happy to have an Aries Venus. <laughs> okay, we had uh, somebody's sun sign can be an Aries. So the three of wands. So this could be somebody traveling towards you here. Yes, yeah, there was a betrayal. With the ten of swords, the strength. Somebody could be an Aquarius. So the three of wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. What's the three of wands with the palace of swords? Oh, this y'all said somebody's sun sign can be an Aries. Oh, look, Venus and Aries coming out. Okay, period. <laughs> Venus and Aries, four of wands. So some of you guys are moving. Some of you guys are moving here. You're traveling. Uh, okay, and uh, this person is like trying to get to you maybe before you leave or you go, or they're saying that they want to come with you. I don't know. <laughs> There's like somebody is like really trying to get to you here. But the four of wands is a reunion. It could be a um, celebration. Definitely a new home. It could be a reconciliation with the six of cups and the four of wands. Yeah, somebody. What's this um, two of cups? Let me see. They're in love with you. This person, there's love all over this damn board. <laughs> What's this two of cups? Yes, Ace of Pentacles. What? Chow, what is this? The hangman. You could be dealing with the Pisces, the world. There's an opportunity coming for you, Aries, that you are not going to want to turn down. I don't know. This is a, like a offer of commitment. This is somebody wanting to settle down with you, invest in you, all these kings. So you could have multiple options. <laughs> Or this could just be one person trying to offer you something stable. But this is a brand new beginning. An opportunity is coming for stability, security, and a new love or a partnership or something like that. What's the Six of Cups? Might as well clarify that too. What's the Six of Cups? Okay, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Cups, bottom of the deck. Yeah, Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody is coming towards you for a commitment. I can't even front. It could be a Taurus. Somebody's Mercury could be in a uh, Cancer. A lot of Cancer energy or water energy. Yeah, look, Queen of uh, Pentacles with the Emperor. There you are, Aries. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is your masculine. They are balancing themselves out. 
they are really because some of you guys could be leaving or doing something and i feel like this person they are definitely they're getting their shit together <laughs> somebody is. somebody is they're really trying to match your energy three of cups but reconciliation is coming aries most definitely this person is not playing with you so let's pour, pull some um tea leaf cards but there's an opportunity coming in for something solid this looks like a commitment <laughs> this is a commitment coming in for some of you it is money okay it's money all over this but this is like a, a commitment honey <laughs> somebody from your past they could be a bit younger than you <clears throat> okay but i feel i feel like this person was kind of like in and out of your life for a while now but they always thought highly of you or they always loved you but never really expressed it you got past lives with this person with the six of cups four of wands but now they're in a the king of wands energy they ass grew up real quick or now that they see that you're leaving bless you now that they see that your ass is leaving or, or whatever the fuck this is i don't know oh shit come on now so okay these cards always get on my nerves be trying to shuffle a certain way okay so let's see what's, what's going on for aries i did see romance in the air on one of the cards <laughs> definitely that in the air bottom of the deck is dog close up pleasure with a close friend yes yeah, somebody wanting somebody somebody is just loving you it says man yeah dealings or relationship with a man okay so this could definitely be a man coming in a lot of this masculine energy what else <laughs> for aries or you are a masculine sign so it could be you but what else for aries <laughs> so we have rats someone working against you behind your back so there there's somebody working against you i don't see their ass in the spread but there's somebody here that doesn't want you to move on or trying to get in the way because you about to move the fuck on honey fan romance celebration and party i know that's right seahorse family matters so this could be somebody in your family that is trying to work against you for some of you you're starting a family with this person literally teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex so some of you guys could be i could be same sex but with all these kings here could be some of you guys are meeting new business partners new people that you can collab with okay a new partnership two of cups doesn't always have to mean love it, it can just be mean that you are emotionally intertwined with your partner or however i don't know how that's working but okay <laughs> um or this is somebody that you're going to work with that you might fall in love with so we have um dagger fear worries tense situations so somebody here could be scared of something somebody here could have been scared of commitment before or really like um closed off towards you because due to their fears or whatever they were fucking going through heels obstacles to overcome okay then we have dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past hmm. then we have dog barking advice from a friend so somebody could be talking to a loyal friend of theirs to get advice on how to do something <clears throat> how to reconcile with your ass then we have crown honor and respect will come to you okay period then we have rose yeah romance is in the air <laughs> told y'all that's what i was saying then we have mice discord amongst family or friends yeah so somebody's not liking it okay i feel like somebody's turning their back on their family and friends who gives a fuck sorrow over a loss so some of you guys are grieving a loss here yeah then we have career for a lot of you this could be about your money your career this is definitely wherever you're moving to is where the money resides honey whatever this is okay then we have table hard work ahead okay Ow, good advice from a wise person then we have tent temporary situation for some of you uh you're dealing with somebody that's kind of like homeless they don't have everything together but they could be getting their shit together it was just a temporary thing or you and this person not speaking was just temporary or whatever the fuck but then we have butterfly change for the better beautiful hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally yeah so this was your reading aries very nice 
Oh, so we have a chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. So yeah, I feel like you are moving on from somebody. You are. Just period. And you're going towards something beautiful. I feel like you've been held back for a while. Real shit. But um, this was your reading, Aries. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on to all. Press the all button so you guys can receive my notifications for when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.